Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, this is a follow-up video to the previous one uh, with this laptop, the HP G60 244DX. Um, it originally came with uh, Windows Vista Home Basic and released in 2009. So I wanted to find out if this could run Windows 10 uh, since it met the qualifications. Uh, so uh, I started with Windows 10 64-bit which did not handle very well. Um, it looks like it is capable of handling a 64-bit operating system, but um, I could not get it to move quick enough to handle it. So I did end up uh, installing a 32-bit version of Windows 10, and uh, I did install Windows 10 uh, Education Edition because I felt that would be a little bit more um, lenient and uh, doesn't, doesn't come with as much crap <laughs> as the other versions do. So um, this is just showing, you know, how long it takes to start, which is still quite a while. Um, but honestly, it ran surprisingly well once everything was uh, settled and started. So uh, you'll see we get to the desktop here, and then I show the version, uh, the version number of the OS, which is uh, 1703, which is the most recent stable version of Windows 10. Uh, I haven't tried any of the Windows Insider betas, and uh, hopefully that'll come out believe in September or October of this year. So once that does, I'll definitely do a little review on that. So here's just showing the uh, version number here. I'll go on to some tests. So uh, here we are doing, uh, doing some tests with the, uh, with the HP G60. And uh, again, I used Mozilla Firefox as in the previous test. And I'm doing the same websites that I did previously, so Reddit, CNN, YouTube, and uh, basically playing video to see how hard it is on the processor. So first we start out with Reddit, and it loads up just fine. And then I picked a, I picked another uh, uh, GIF or GIF or whatever you call it again, and this time it actually worked just fine. And as you can see, it only took a second really to load that, so I was really impressed. Um, so it's possible that it was Vista that was uh, holding it back. Now another disclaimer on here is uh, I did not install the ad blocker on here as I forgot about it. Um, I just wanted to uh, get this done real quick so it wasn't uh, as well thought out as the previous one was. Now you can see CNN of course takes a little bit of time. It's very very heavy website. Um, but as it was with Vista the scrolling is, is really good. It is uh, not, not bad at all. As you can see, it's smooth scrolling. You know, you can see everything loaded up on the page there. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Now, next we go to YouTube. And uh, it actually seemed to handle better than it did on Vista. And I bring up the task manager again to show uh, what the CPU is, uh, you know, what it's showing as its performance. And it's not going up to 100% the whole time. So I really think that uh, this has to be Windows 10. Um, it seems much better optimized for this kind of stuff. So I just picked the first video here and uh, you'll see in a second it is still a little choppy at times but it does uh, does pretty fine. So uh, we'll give that just a second. So you can see when it starts it's a little choppy and then I do full screen just to see how it goes and it catches up um, and again it's doing it in, in HD 720p so and now I bring up the task manager here now you see it's kind of choppy right here um, but I think that's just because I, I did click the task manager but as you can see the performance isn't really going past 50% Come on, man. So Got I was pretty impressed with that. Now the next test was with uh, LibreOffice, and I uh, just wanted to show you its performance with um, with a Word document, an Excel document, and a PowerPoint. And honestly, this really wasn't much different than it was on Vista. Um, I'm not sure if it's just a really heavy program on the CPU, but you can definitely see some lag. But in all honesty, that you know, for basic tasks, I think this would be just fine. So first, I do a Word document.
See, it just takes a minute to load here. And then just the typing, you can see it, it lags a little bit, as well as when I change the font and the font size. Okay, and now I'm going to go into um, a new Excel document. And you'll see it also lags a little bit also, but um, it did in the previous video, in the previous uh, Vista installation also. And then finally, I'm going to do another PowerPoint presentation. And I did the same template that I used in the previous video. Here is just a uh, test of this screen, or the uh, PowerPoint presentation there. And that's it for this video, and uh, this is just showing it shutting down. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments, uh, leave them below. And uh, if you have any, suge uh, any suggestions, let me know also. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.